to help to have Noah back uh, up front for you guys this weekend? I think it's going to be tremendous. Uh, Noah's a very talented player, fits well in our scheme, uh, has a tremendous uh, uh, ability to get after the quarterback, and I think it's going to help us a lot. Could that, have, could that have helped Saturday when Brewer was kind of extending some of those plays and getting out on the edge of somebody with his speed to run him down? Uh, a little bit, yeah. He might have made a difference, but uh, it was more about just our lack of execution on a couple of things more so than personnel. Okay. How have you guys kept Noah involved or engaged in the last couple of weeks? Well, he's been in all the defensive line meetings, so all through the course of training camp, he's worked a lot of scout team stuff going against our offense and uh, doing a great job down there. But he's been in all the defensive line meetings and been through all of our walkthroughs. He's been in D-line individuals, so he's been out there practicing our stuff uh, quite a bit. Have you seen any improvement? I mean, obviously you didn't coach him. You know, he wasn't. You weren't here last year. Stuff, but have you seen him make strides in any respect? Well, we saw a lot of strides in the spring from him. From the time we started till the time we ended in the spring practice, he made a lot of improvement. He's made improvement throughout training camp so far also, and excited to see him get out there on game day. Chris, Chris when you talk about a lack of execution, where did you see that pop up the most? Uh, really in critical situations. Uh, third down, especially in the first quarter. I think we were 0 for 5 on third down in the first quarter. Um, they did a good job, but it was more about our mistakes versus what they did to us. Um, after the first quarter, we settled down. We had a couple mistakes. We had them backed up. Uh, had a couple mistakes. Let them out and changed the field position a little bit. You talk about a two-minute situation. We gave up a touchdown in a two-minute situation. It was because of a couple mistakes. Uh, we had them in the red zone. We made a mistake on a coverage um, in, in a man-to-man -man coverage, and it hurt us. So critical situations outside of first and second down, but situations you work on all the time. You, you really need to be at your best. Uh, we were not at our best Saturday night. Chris, Chris will the offense ties the game there at 21? and then they come out in March. How, how critical is it for a defense to be able to come out and get a stop when the offense just got you some momentum back? Well, when, when uh, you talk about momentum changers in the game, it's absolutely a turning point. It's a big part of the game. Uh, the stadium was, was uh, alive, and the, the team was juiced up on the sideline. We needed a stop to get the offense the ball back again. Uh, we had a couple of mistakes. That, that, that's what it came down to. It had nothing to do with effort. Um, or calls that were made or anything like that. We had a couple mistakes. Uh, they hit us on an end around in a call. They, they uh, uh, hit a reverse, you know, uh, where we didn't have it contained. So it was more about us than it was uh, the, the Virginia Tech and what they did. Chris, how easily is it to how easy is it to remedy these mistakes that you? Oh, I think it's really easy. I think uh, a couple of things. One, it, it's still a new defense to the guys. Two, we spent a lot of time focused on Navy in the first couple of weeks. Uh, so it took us a few days in last week's preparation to get back to what we were doing, you know, get back in the flow of things. So um, it's, it's uh, when you talk about not being talent, not being effort, it's a lot easier to fix some of the easy mental things. And a lot of that comes through reps and just playing football and being in the system a little bit longer. Uh, so are we discouraged about the game Saturday? Absolutely. Could we have played uh, you know, better in a couple situations to make a dif difference? Absolutely. But uh, do we still have a chance to be outstanding? I, I believe so, and we all think so. It's just the little things, the little attention to detail and uh, things like that moving forward, I think, will help us uh, in the long run. But we're excited about where we're going. We played some excellent snaps of football defensively Saturday night, just not for four quarters. And that's the challenge that we have to get there sooner than later. Chris, a lot of the third downs you guys gave up were I mean, they weren't third and one, third and two. They were third mm -hmm. and big. Mm -hmm. Does that? Do you guys have the right personnel on the field when you're giving up third and big? Yeah, it, it's again, it's execution. Um, you know, one, one of the third long uh, situations, we had a blitz called. It calls for someone to contain the quarterback. He got a, he sprinted out. Uh, we lost the edge of the defense. You lose the edge of, de of the defense in a blitz. Um, you know, you, you have a chance to have uh, a big play against you, and we did. So there were little things like that that came up. Um, you know, a couple other situations, the quarterback might have gotten outside because we, you know, lost contain or, or someone messed up in a coverage. Uh, it wasn't one position, it wasn't one individual, it wasn't one particular call. It's when you add up a, a guy here, a guy there, it starts to, to uh, accumulate a little bit, and, and that's what we have to get fixed. What does it say about the team that their most, the, the, the breakdowns were concentrated around those most crucial moments? Uh, you know, that, that's a good question. That's something we have to identify as a coaching staff that we tried to uh, meet about as a, as a staff and with the players yesterday. And I think we have some pretty good ideas of what happened and some solutions. But, um, you know, we'll, we'll get it fixed. But, uh, yeah, critical situations, you got to be at your best. And for whatever reason, we were not Saturday night.